Hey guys, welcome back to Taste and Vlog. I'm your host, Sobia. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I am so excited about today's video. We are reviewing a place in downtown Lee Summit called Third Street Social. I have never had a bad meal there. I've always had good food. They have great service. So I'm super excited about this video. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be doing it indoors because of the new um, COVID wave that has happened and super devastating. I'm not gonna do it indoors just to stay safe and stuff. So I will do another food review from my kitchen and I hope you enjoy it. zero temperatures this is how much I love doing food reviews and this is how much I appreciate your support so thank you place called Third Street Social in downtown Lee Summit um, and I got four things to try for you all today. Um, the first is the crispy fried Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. I'm really excited about that. I really like roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, and that looks like this. And then I will try the truffle grilled cheese which looks like this and there's tomato soup that comes with it. So I'm not gonna lift it up so I don't spill it. And then I will try the fried chicken mac and cheese, which is one of my favorites. And then finally I got a social cheeseburger. And that's just a basic like lettuce, tomato, onions, um, cheddar cheese. So it's just kind of a basic burger, but eventually I will do a whole video or a whole food tour just about the best burgers in the Kansas City area. But I just wanted to get a burger today from this place. So let's get started. I will try the appetizer first, um, the Brussels sprouts. And it comes with the jalapeno um, aioli and a malt vinegar aioli. So I put that in there. First, I'm going to try it without the sauces. Um, so let me see how that tastes first. There's a Brussels sprout. Mm -hmm. Very good. I really like roasted Brussels sprouts because even if you roast them and they kind of look a little bit charred or crispy, they still retain their natural flavor. So I really like that. And then here is cauliflower. Mm. The cauliflower is really nice. <clears throat> it's not extremely um, toasty, but it kind of melts in your mouth. So perfect texture for roasted cauliflower. I like that a lot. If you're kind of going light on the meal, it's it's always nice to fill up on a vegetarian appetizer and then go in for the the big meal. So it, uh, it tastes like it's lightly salted and a little splash of olive oil, so I can taste those flavors in there. Excellent appetizer. Next, I'm so excited about this guy. 
And again, I'm reading off the description for you so you get an idea of what's in each dish. This one has Taleggio cheese, white cheddar, fontina, truffle, like shaved truffles, and it comes with tomato soup. And honestly, let me see if I can remove this tomato soup. This is like plastered. There's so much cheese, it's like plastered to uh, the bottom of the container. So that gives you an idea. Well, let me see if I can de-plaster it and take a bite. Oh man. Check it out. Oh yeah. Toasted bread with melted cheese. Can't go wrong. All right, here I go. Winter day where it's overly cold. Perfect meal. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. I love it. <clears throat> I feel like if there was like a definition of an all American dish, it would be grilled cheese and tomato soup. Alright, this time I'm going to dip the sandwich in the soup and take a bite. Oh yeah, that tomato soup's really good. You can taste all the different cheeses in the grilled cheese, but more importantly, that shaved truffle just pops, and it's just delicious. Probably one of the best grilled cheeses I've ever had. Very, very good. I'm gonna scoop this over. By the way, for uh, you viewers out there, I don't actually sit here and eat all of this food. Um, I have a family, so they help finish off the food. I don't sit here and eat like 20 tacos. Or I invite friends over, um, you know, outdoors, safely, obviously. Um, I'll invite friends over and split the food with them. I don't sit here and eat a ton of this food all by myself, so. Anyway. Um, next, I'm going to try mac and cheese which has smoked jalapenos, pimento, cheese sauce, and then they top it off with um, really good fried chicken. Um, so hang on just one second, I don't have a fork. Okay, I got my fork. Um, let me give you a good view of this deliciousness. It looks so good. And usually I've noticed in this dish, they kind of, they pour the cheese sauce on top so it's um it, it kind of drips down to the bottom so it's good to kind of mix up the noodles before you take a bite so here it is oh look at that the fried chicken mac and cheese mm. that pimento cheese is where it's at melts in your mouth Noodles melt in your mouth. It has great flavor. You can definitely taste the smoked jalapenos chopped up in there, and it's not spicy at all. You can taste the uh, flavor of a jalapeno, but you don't taste the spiciness of a jalapeno. Mm -hmm. So good. And then they have some fried chicken on top. Excellent, again, all around good down home comfort food on a really cold winter day. You know what, it occurs to me that I didn't try the Brussels sprouts with the aiolis. Let's see, it was a jalapeno aioli and a malt vinegar. Okay, the jalapeno. And you get that jalapeno flavor, but you don't get the heat. Excellent. Okay, 
I'll try the other one, the malt vinegar. I'll have a cauliflower this time. Oh yeah. Oh, that's where it's at. Immediately get the punch of the vinegar, but I like the taste of vinegar in certain things, so it's really nice. <clears throat> All right. Lastly, we got the social burger with fries on the side. And uh, just to warn you, this might be a messy bite. Oh, look at that burger. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, here I go. Again, the burger has lettuce, tomato, onions, and pickles. Just a really basic burger. Um, what I do like about um, their burgers is their patties are really flat. I don't really like the really tall patties. That's they're, they're harder to bite into. I really like the patties that are kind of smushed down. Um, and usually I like cheese off the block and not American cheese on my burgers, but for some reason this works because it kind of like glues the whole burger together and it has a really really good taste. So it's very very good, very delicious. And the fries, not going to complain, the fries are good too. Mm. Salty and crispy and good, very good fries. If you're interested in having a good local meal in the Kansas City area, try Third Street Social in downtown Lee Summit. Um, they also have some sister restaurants around the Kansas City area. We'll put the website below. I think one of them is called Summit Grill. And uh, so anyway, check them out. They're really, really delicious food. And um, I think during this time, they are doing curbside pickup where they bring food out to your car so you don't have to go inside. And uh, that's my food review. Uh, I will see you next time. Please stay safe, um, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I read all the comments you all post. So uh, comment if you like, and I really appreciate your support.